Hi, I'm David, and welcome to Happy Turnings. For this project, the piece of what I started with came from a random box of blocks, but I believe it is cherry, as it has a similar grain in appearance as Project 1 of this series. This time, I'm showing you how I use a center finder, along with a center punch, to put a notch in the top of the workpiece. Here, I am using hot milk glue on the bottom of the glue block to attach it to the workpiece. I use a toothpick that I've placed through, the, through a hole that I've created down the center of my glue block, and I use that toothpick to align with the notch that I had created. Once this has been pressed into place, I place a bead of hot milk glue around the circumference of the glue block. This will add strength and support while turning this piece. Now on the lathe, attached via a four-jaw chuck, using my half-inch bowl gouge, I begin to true the piece to the lathe, carving it round. The speed is roughly 800 RPM. Here I've determined that I'm going to end up going with a recess, rather than switching the glue block around or trying to just make a tenon on the bottom here. I've decided to go with the recess, um, as I, I think it turns out a little bit nicer having a little foot dedicated on the bottom there. So you'll see here I mark out a center, although I didn't like that center, so a good way to kill an eraser on a pencil, by the way, is to use it on a lathe here. And now I've gone ahead and remarked where my four jaw chucks will expand to, and then the outside of the foot there as well. At least kind of what I'm aiming for to start off with. From here, I'll begin cleaning out the center recess to get ready to accept the four jaw chuck, and then I will round the bottom and start shaping the bottom before flipping it around. You will see that I use the diamond uh, tipped parting tool carbide cutter to create a little bit of a, a dovetail on the inside of the recess. That'll help fit those uh, my four jaw chuck recess uh, out, or the exterior of my four jaw chuck jaws better as they have a, a bit of a taper or a dovetail into them there. And I'm using the square or flat uh, carbide tip here to really get a nice flat base and surface to the bottom here so the the foot comes out nice and flat here as well. And I'll uh, get to shaping the bottom here. I'll take a moment to note right here that uh, the turning and shaping of this piece at this point moving forward is about 1250 RPM.
here I begin to create the foot that I wanted to develop along the bottom while using a uh, scraping cut to um, help define the bottom uh, round portion of the bowl. Kind of clean it up a bit there. Next, I slow the lathe and use a keyless Jacobs chuck with a Forstner bit to drill the insert for a logo medallion that I insert on the bottom of the bowls here. good and I will be using a uh, the press piece from a pen press kit that I have um, to press this into place I had also put a thin portion of uh, or a small amount of thin CA on the bottom of that as well prior to pressing that into place there now I turn the piece around and using the four jaw chuck jaws I expand inside the foot or the recess that I'd created this will hold the piece for the rest of the turning. Using the center hole on the glue block, along with my tail stock and revolving live center, I get the piece in place and verify it is running true again. Next, I grab my high proof Everclear, along with a small uh, paintbrush, and I dab uh, the Everclear right along the, uh, the hot melt glue along the way there. Then I let it sit and dry it, dry it out for a couple of moments. <clears throat> grab the little pick tool here and uh, pull away that uh, that bead of hot milk glue that I had put on there. Once enough of this has pulled away, the Everclear that I've put on, on there has soaked and dried out the hot milk glue underneath the glue block as well, and I'm able to just pull it right off there. Now with the glue block removed, I do a quick pass or two just to make sure the piece is true again, and I switch to the top and the inside of the bowl. point that I really start defining the edge of the bowl there, uh, the outside there, and you'll see that I get a catch here in just a moment as well. Thankfully it didn't do a lot of damage and was able to just clean it right up. Here I use my round nose scraper to clean up some marks and clean the transition from the bottom to the sides. Next up was the sanding process. Using a two inch round sanding pad attached to my drill, I, use 80, I start off with an 80 grit sandpaper and move on to 120, 180, then 220, on to 320, and finally at 400 grit. These I use an Abernet sanding mesh pad as it helps to keep the dust uh, flowing away from the piece. You don't want to get scorch marks or um, use the sanding paper to the point where it's tearing and destroying your piece at all. Next, I use some of my high proof Everclear to clean up the piece and get some of that dust off of, all, off of it. And after that, I use my uh, abrasive paste for wood. You can find this on my Etsy shop. It consists of a beeswax, carnauba wax, mineral oil, and diatomaceous earth as the abrasive. This makes a very fine grit and leaves a very nice finish with it. Again, all these foods, all these ingredients that I use with my uh, finish here, finishes here are food safe and non-toxic. Next, 
I use my food safe finish created with carnauba wax and mineral oil to create a durable coating directly on the surface of the wood. This is a friction polish. So using a little bit of force and the, the speed of the lathe, I heat it up, which allows it to melt and allows the uh, grain of the wood to soak up the mineral oil, which in turn pulls that carnauba wax into the grain. As this dries and seals, it will harden and create a good, durable, long-lasting finish. Again, you can find this on my Etsy shop. Links in the description below. Hi, David here. I want to take a quick moment to mention, um, I lost the footage for the finishing on the bottom of this piece. Um, I didn't like the matte finish that my wood, that my food safe finish provides. The wax uh, just doesn't provide the glossiness that I really like. So I went ahead and replaced the finish, or well, went back and put uh, three coats of Waterlock's original VOC um, on this piece um, with a good dry time in between each one. Um, between each coating. You also want to make sure to do a light sanding of a, a very mild abrasive. I use a 600 grit um, just to, as a quick uh, wipe down of the piece uh, before in between each coat of water locks as well. Um, so what you'll see here in a moment is the piece completed um, with three coats of water locks original VOC on top of those two uh, wax finishes that I that I completed there. Um, when I got finished with that second uh, uh, layer there, I did the bottom with the same uh, food safe finish with the carnauba wax and mineral oil finish there. Got a nice good even coating across the whole piece. <clears throat> That's when I decided I didn't really like it and switched it over here to the um, the Waterlocks original uh, version here. So um, love this piece. It's one of my favorites. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this type of content, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Come on back and check it out another time. I am working on getting better with these videos and um, just trying to adapt a little bit better. Uh, my wife and I have some some changes coming up in our life pretty soon here. You'll you'll get some more of that moving forward and uh, get to get to know what's kind of moving uh, and some more videos coming up here pretty soon. Um, sorry for the delay on this one. I'm going to try to get back up, catch back up with some of these other ones. Um, I will get all 52 of these done this year. So um, bear with me and stick around and uh, hope you keep enjoying these. Um, let me know what you think about the music too. I think I kind of like it with this one. Um, pop down the comments, hit that like button, subscribe. Pop on over to Facebook too. Um, happy Turnings on Facebook's there too. So I pop, uh, I put some updates on there as well. Some other pictures of some other items I work on it too. And uh, don't forget to check that out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you come back again, and I wish you all happy turnings.